It's a collaboration between Tops and Buck Max. It's called the CSRT, which stands for Combat Search and Rescue Tool. The steel is 420 HC. The blade shape is a modified Tonto, which makes it easy to sharpen, and also it's a straight edge, so there's no serrations in it. The blade itself has some holes in it, so you can use it for anything from you know, tightening up some wing nuts or bending some wire. It has a pretty awesome finish on it and it pretty much makes it so it's no reflection without being black. And it has some awesome G10 handle scales with the Rocky Mountain grind on it. This stuff is pretty impact resistant, heat resistant, water resistant, and most importantly chemical resistant. The back of the knife has a nice glass breaker on it slash pry bar type thing and it also has a hex hole. So you can put in your standard tools inside there, screw driving or what have you. I think one of my favorite parts of this knife is the sheath. When you clip it in, there's no pull on it. It's really secure in there. And on the back, it is Molly compatible, so you can hook it onto any type of tactical bag. You can also wear it horizontally on a belt. And also nice that you don't have to take off your belt all the way in order to put this on. In the front, there's a pocket and instead of velcro it has a quick release buckle which i think is really good because it's a lot quieter a lot stronger and you know it's not going to come open the pocket itself uh, you can it's about the same size as any other one you could fit a full size folding knife in there a fire steel my favorite part about this is that it has an elastic on the outside of the pocket so anything that you put in there it's going to be nice and cinched down it's going to be nice and quiet we're going to try this out in some outdoor tasks like chopping and all that stuff. I think this is going to blend very well with the stoutness of the blade. We're going to test its out of box sharpness. I mean it's not really an arts and crafts knife, but it does pretty well. And the edge is pretty consistent throughout. And uh, we're going to see how well it splits wood. Uh, normally for this type of thing you'd use a baton, but for consistency's sake I'm going to use a rubber mallet. There's definitely a knot right here on the wood, so let's see if we can get through it. So yeah, that's a knot we just cut through with the uh, CSRT, and there we go. This blade's still straight and still sharp. We're gonna see how fine the shavings we can make out of this thing. Alright, so as you can see, uh, we got a good amount of feathers here, but uh, you know, I think because of the thickness of the blade. It didn't shave quite as well as maybe a thinner blade, but uh, the edge is pretty good and overall, you know, it's, it's acceptable. This knife is going to do pretty well for chopping because it's, uh, it's really thick, really stout, pretty decently sharp, but more importantly, it has a 14 ounce blade, which is a lot of energy to put into a knife, so and it's almost hatchet-like. Did pretty well and you know if you had a lanyard you could get a little bit further back on the knife and have a little bit more of that leverage chopping action but I think uh, the way it is without anything did pretty well.